good mountain people. Chris, Chris goes outdoors. We're here, 19 mile brook trail. Anna and Patro are here as well. Kind of a, a weird last minute-ish trip. Wanted to hit the Wildcats in Carter Dome and uh, a guy in one of the Facebook groups, long story short, had some extra spots at the Carter Notch hut up here. So we're gonna hit that for the night. Maybe get to Carter Dome tonight. Hopefully hit the Wildcats in the morning. We'll get rolling, take you on the way. Made it to the intersection of the Carter Dome Trail and 19 Mile Brook. Took us uh, 40 minutes to get the first two miles done. We got two miles to go and we will be up at the hut. We are losing sunlight, but still a possibility that uh, we hit the dome tonight. We'll see how it goes. Nice little trail. Uh, I've been up here before. We actually did the Carter Traverse, but uh, skipped Carter Dome at the time I wasn't trying to Finished the New Hampshire 48, uh, and I heard it just wasn't very fun. Like, it's just a big rock pile surrounded by trees up there. You don't really see much. So, coming up to tag that, that's why we're back up here. And then hopefully we'll get the Wildcats done too. Keep going. So you can see we're at the little uh, pond right before the hut here. And phenomenal view. It's getting very chilly, but beautiful view. I believe that's Wildcat A, right there behind us. We'll be up that tomorrow, but look at them. Awesome. So we made it to the hut. Uh, apparently here you actually get your own little like cabin, your own little room. So we're in this little house here, in this thing, and uh, pretty cool view too. Yeah, excellent. We are in the bunk. End of the night. We are at the uh, Carter Notch hut. Just calling it an evening. It's freezing, absolutely freezing outside. The wind is blowing like crazy. So just gonna go uh, post up for a few, watch the stars, and kick it. Go to bed. So next time you see it will be tomorrow. Planning on hitting Carter Dome in the morning. We did not go once we got up here. Uh, so planning to do Carter Dome early, then head over the Wildcats and out. So. That's the play. Next day, morning time. Made it through the night. Alive. Mostly. Quite chilly. Heading up to the Carter Dome is the little view we woke up to. See the wild cats behind us. But we are heading to the dome. So probably the best view on the trail so far. Like Card Mariah heading up to the dome. It's very windy, so sorry if there's wind noise, but you can see the uh, hut down there. And then out into the notch. Pretty cool view. See a lot of clouds over on the other side in the presidential area heading toward the presidential area or just sitting there but uh, heading up keep rolling after a pretty challenging 1.2 mile climb from the hut area if i made it to carter dome it's a uh, viewless summit just uh, a big old pile of rocks you can see the clouds are literally right above us uh, it's a very, very cold, very windy day today. Luckily, the mountain trees seem to be blocking the wind right up here, but just saw a couple snowflakes fall up too, so. Pretty interesting. So the plan now is to get back down, eat something, uh, probably on the way, and then head over to the Wildcats. Ooh, gotta get rolling. Very chilly. I believe it's just above or just at freezing right now so fun 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 especially when that wind cuts through on the way down to the Carter Dome we had skipped the viewpoint area 
area and just hit it on the way back. It's pretty nice. You can see Mount Washington over there, the hut down here, more random mountains over there. brisk this morning. Those little ponds down there are pretty cool. The one closest to the hut has like a little beach on it almost. The other ones around it just have a really nice view so nice place to hang around. Oh, where am I? Just hanging out on a mountain beach. beaches in the mountains with sand. It's awesome. So we're in the hut, Karnacha. We're the only people in here. This morning, everybody else has already cleared out and dropped back in after we went up to the dome. Nice little hut. And then all the, uh, the rooms are in their own like different cabins and they're all like blocked off into things of four so it's a pretty cool setup. We're on the Wildcat Ridge Trail now. I believe we're just about to get to Wildcat A. And uh, I'll show you, show you around. Directly over there, the big guy is Cardo Dome where we were earlier. You can see the hut down there. We're now on the other side. I went down, came back up. And over there, probably can't make it out, but there's ice on the mountains up there. It's been very chilly, very windy here last night and today, so. Awesome, view. beautiful view. So we're on the Wildcats. We've been going for a while. I'm not really sure if we've gone over a peak or not yet, but cool little view of the presidentials right over there. Washington's directly across, it's all in the clouds. Uh, just ran into a through hiker at uh, one of the intersections up there where the view, little view was. And uh, he said 11 of them were up there last night. So it's almost zero degrees, 80 mile per hour wind gust. They were all hiding in the, uh, the little basement shelter area of uh, Lake in the Clouds. So, intense. On where we go. So apparently we skipped over, well, didn't skip over, we walked over and didn't realize that we went over A, B, and C. But on top of D, there's this big gigantic platform. You can see the presidentials behind us. Uh, pretty nice little uh, little area. It's quite chilly, quite chilly still. So a lot of wind too. Hopefully the mic is uh, blocking that. But. Just on top of the little uh, ski lift area up here. Nothing really cool to see, I guess, but there's two trails off the top where the big platform was. One comes down this way, another comes down that way. And if you come this way, it's just kind of like, where the hell am I supposed to go? You see over here, in the woods over here is where you're going. If you come down that way, there is a sign for it, but if you didn't, and you came down the other way, well, Wow. All right, we made it back down the Wildcat Ridge Trail. It's uh, pretty damn steep. Once you reach about the uh, one mile point, it comes like whoo, straight down. Some really uh, tricky little areas, so would not recommend in the rain necessarily. We're gonna uh, poke out of here, try to get ourselves a little hitch back up to the parking lot that we were at. So we made it back to the car. We were able to hitch much easier this time without police interference or assistance, technically. Now, three and a half hour drive home. Fun hike, good hike. Don't do it in the rain, coming down that way, because you will fall, slip, and possibly die. It's Chris, Chris Goes Outdoors, till next time.